public services from the best available provider. So, sometimes it's the government and sometimes it's somebody else. So there could be third sector in sector institutes. So services, even services that are enforced by law, services that are decided about by the government, need not come from the government. Could be from other possibilities. Um, <coughs> Which means that the government has to handle providers. The government has to make certain decisions. And, and again, in this UK example, um, the government sets a policy, a framework, where it's very clear what are the, the goals for the service and, and, and regulations about uh, what to do if one of the service providers is not performing as they are contracted to do. So the government could contract external service providers, pay for it, and needs to manage performance of them, right? Um, and at least in the UK, not a single provider should have a monopoly here. So it's against the law in the UK to have one single server provider provide services everywhere. There should always be a fair comparison, a fair competition, so others could also bid. Um, and this means that you have the, 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 the government commissioner be completely separate from the uh, provider of the service. So there should be no conflicts of interest. So if I am in the government and if I have to hire a service provider for certain services, I should not be in any way related to the provider. Right? In the UK situation. And I'm not sure whether this is true in Italy. I get the impression it's not. I'm, I'm not sure whether this is official or just practice. You may tell me. In the Netherlands it would not be allowed. So if I'm in the government, and if I would pay a certain service provider, it should be completely independent, no relations. Otherwise we would have a political problem in the Netherlands. It's against the law. So, for instance, in the Netherlands, we, we had actually, in, in the south of the country, we, we had a, a major, a major municipality who, um, who hired a certain company to provide services to the municipality, and it turned out that there was a family relationship. And the major had to go. He was kicked out of his job for that. Right? So, it's cultural, it's politics. In different countries, it's different. Be aware. So, for countries like the UK and actually of the Netherlands, splitting the markets um, uh, helps. Uh, so sometimes it means that you have different providers in different locations, or even in a certain municipality, you, you might have two street cleaning contracts. So two companies, and each of them does part of the street cleaning, right? And at least in the UK, you cannot have the same street cleaners for all towns. So you could say there could be one for one province and one for another province, right? And sometimes they even have two, or more than one, right? So in order to make sure that, that you are still managing the services and the quality, because as soon as you have only one, and it's not a gov government institute as such, then you are no longer in control. The provider can just provide what they want, they can make their own price, and you cannot really manage the quality. Yeah, you understand? So this means that you have to be sure that if it's a government decided service, the government needs to be in control. Right? Otherwise, well, you don't know. You have, just have to wait what you get. <coughs> In Japan, 
Interestingly, in Japan, they are trying to get services provided outside of the government. The government decides on the public services, and they are outsourced. So there are private enterprises providing the service, including the prison services. So prisons in Japan are going to be private institutes. Right? And, and the same is for national pension premium. Okay. So if you want to employ a uh, prison, you can in Japan. You can, you can set up your proposal and the government could decide to outsource some of the services to your private prison. Okay? It's a cultural issue. Maybe it would not be done in the Netherlands. Well, actually it will be. In the Netherlands, uh, there's an interesting thing. At the moment, in my country, the Netherlands, we are providing prison services to Belgium. Apparently we have more prison facilities than we need, and the Belgians have has more criminals than they can handle, so they are put in Dutch prisons now. We are out, the Belgians are outsourcing this service, because even a prison is a service. Try to find out who are the clients here, right? That's interesting. So, and in Japan, this is now a new development to have these kind of services on the market. So there will be a request for proposals, and you could give a bid and say, my prison will cost you so much and provide you these services, right? And then you are one of the possible clients to, to provide the service for the government. Even killing people in prison. Sorry? Uh, even killing people in prison in the US, for example, would be a service, right? Uh, yeah, That's I guess. Sick. Yeah, would you bid? That is sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting to find out who are the clients for the service, right? Maybe these are not the prisoners only. Prisoners are also clients, by the way. They want it to be treated in a certain way, but also society want to be protected from certain people. So, yeah. But it's true. I mean, it, uh, I'm not sure in Japan whether they are killing people. In the Netherlands they are not. It's against the law. But uh, in the US it's not. It but happens. there's actual legal service. Yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. It's, it's like by a military. Yeah. Military is a legal service. In the past, Japan had, uh, sorry, in the past, France had this, uh, this special uh, army. There, there were uh, people who are not French. The Legion. They were non French people. They were hired to fight in the army <laughs> by the government. Yeah, it's true. This is also services now, right? So you don't buy bullets, but you buy the surface of fighting soldiers. And I think recently in Libya, Gaddafi was trying to do this somewhere in Africa, right? He was hiring people to be in his army. It's a service. Yeah. Interesting to think of it this way. Yeah? Well, in Japan there are some, um, so they, they call it the, the, the outsourcing model. So the proposal makes outsourcing. So, um, which means they call for proposals for prisons and, and other things, and, and then they would outsource the services. Um, well. It means that, that enterprises could now be part of the market and if the government monitors and outsources the right way, they could still control the process and maybe keep the costs as low as possible for the benefit of the society. Right? And you can see we can have sometimes funny examples or examples that you consider fun. So including punishing people, up to killing, if that's part of your punishment system, and so on. 
Yeah. The interesting thing is that this has been done before for many, many years, but nobody considered it a service. It's only since 30 years that we use the word service for this. And consider it a service to the society, right? Because prisons are a service to society to prevent criminals from running around and doing bad things, right? So this is why. So now we see that actually what it is. A prison is not just a building with strong bars in the windows, but it's a service to the public to make sure that people are not all the time uh, well, being robbed and, and being killed by criminals. So it's part of a service, yes. With all the side effects that you might want to consider and decide whether or not you would like to outsource that. So in Japan they are not considering that.